In my last video, I completed how to design a decoder. Uh, now in this video, I'm going to implement 3 to 8 decoder with the help of 2 to 4 decoder. So before starting, again I am repeating uh, that a decoder has n input and 2 to the power n outputs. So here we are going to design a 3 to 8 decoder which has 3 input and 2 to the power 3 8 outputs. So we are not going to design 3 to 8 decoder in a traditional way. We are going to implement this 3 to 8 decoder with the help of 2 to 4 decoder. At the left hand side, I have drawn a 2 to 4 decoder and at the right hand side, I draw a 3 to 8 decoder. Both of them have an enable line. Since a 3 to 8 decoder has a large number of input and output than a 2 to 4 decoder, so I have written as higher order decoder. And since 2 to 4 decoder has less number of input and output as compared to 3 to 8 decoder, so I have written lower order decoder. So now you have to find out how many 2 to 4 decoders are required to implement this 3 to 8 decoder. So there is a formula to find out the number of lower order decoder to implement a higher order decoder. So let's check out the formula. So this is my formula required number of lower order decoder equal to n2 by n1. So what is n1 and n2? n1 is the number of outputs of lower order decoder and n2 is the number of outputs of higher order decoder. So here in my example, uh, the number of outputs in the lower order decoder is 4 because 2 to 4 decoder has 4 outputs. And what are the number of outputs in the 3 to 8 decoder? That is 8. So in the higher order decoder, the output is 8. So now, here n1 equal to 4 n1 means the number of output of lower order decoder as I have taken 2 to 4 decoder. So the number of output in a 2 to 4 decoder is 4 and for the higher order decoder that is 3 to 8 decoder the number of output is 8. So that is why n2 equal to 8. So substitute these two values in the above formula what you will get 8 divided by 4 that is 2. That's mean 2 2 to 4 decoder are required to implement 1 3 to 8 decoder. Now let's draw the block diagram of 3 to 8 decoder with the help of 2 to 4 decoder. So this is my 3 to 8 decoder which has 3 input line and 8 output lines labeled as B0, B1, dot, 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 B7. So to implement this 3 to 8 decoder, we require 2 2 to 4 decoder since this is a 2 to 4 decoder so it has a 2 input I am leveled it as X and Y and since it has a 2 input so obviously it will have 2 to the power 2 or 4 outputs B0, B1, B2 and B3 similarly look at the lower decoder so this decoder will also have a 2 input and this 2 input is also from X and Y and it will also have 2 to the power 2 or 4 outputs. So I mark the output of the upper decoder as B0, B1, B2, B3. That is the lower order output of a 3 to 8 decoder. And the output of the decoder drawn below are labeled as B4, B5, B6 and B7. That is the higher order output of the 3 to 8 decoder. Now what will be with the third input of 3 to 8 decoder. So there is a trick. So what is the trick? Both the decoder, the upper one and the lower one, both have the enable line. So we just use this to enable line for the third input Z. So the Z input will be connected with both the enable line of the two decoders. There is a difference that the enable of the upper decoder has a connection from Z input but it has a inverter in between them. So this will be your complete 3 to 8 decoder with the help of 2 to 4 decoder. So let's check with an example. Let us take 
x, y, and z as 0, 0, and 0. So all three are 0. That's mean you are giving 0, 0, 0 input in a 3 to 8 decoder. Since z is 0, this input will get inverted and a 1 or a high input will be at the enable of upper decoder. So you can say that this decoder will be enable. That's mean the output of this decoder will respond to the input combination of X and Y. Now since Z connection is directly connected with this enable line, that is the enable of the second decoder, that's mean it will be zero, which indicates that this decoder will be in a disabled state. So whatever may be the combination of X and Y, B4, B5, B6, all for this output will remain in the zero state because this decoder is in a divisible state. Now for the XY input 00, zero B0 zero will become 1 and the rest of the output will become 0. So as you have already know that for a decoder any one of the input will become high and the rest of the output will become 0. So for the input x, y, z, 0, 0, 0, you will get b0 as 1 and you will get rest all the output as 0. Let us take an another example. Suppose x is 0, y is 1 and z is in the 1 state. So what will happen? Since z is 1, you will get 0 over here. That's mean the upper decoder will be disabled. So all the output will be in 0 state. Now since Z is 1 and it is directly connected with the lowermost decoder, that's mean this decoder is enabled. And for the XY input, since X is 0 and Y is 1, you will get B6 as 1 and rest of the output will become 0. So for this input combination 0, 1, 1, you will get B6 as a high input and all the other outputs will remain in the 0 state. So you can think it as a 3 to 8 decoder. That's when you are giving a 3 input over here and you are getting 8 output. So this is the complete diagram of a 3 to 8 decoder. So now if you draw the truth table and the block diagram of 3 to 8 decoder side by side, it will be easier for you to understand, I think. You can also check that when Z is at 0 state, Look at the first four rows where Z is 0. And for all possible input combinations of X and Y, you will get B0, B1, B2, and B3 high one at a time. And when Z is 1, that is the lowermost decoder is enabled. Look at the last four row where Z is 1. So for all possible input combination of X and Y, you will get B4, B5, B6 and B7 as high, one at a time. And the rest of the lower order output will remain in the zero state. So if you understand the design procedure of 3 to 8 decoder with the help of 2 to 4 decoder, I think you can now implement 4 to 16 decoder with the help of 3 to 8 decoder also. Subscribe to my channel online technical mentor and press the bell icon for latest update.